Right, this is Geometry A, Unit 5, Lesson 5. We're going to demonstrate the angle side angle congruence theorem. But first, I want to do a little bit of review. We've been plowing through these rather steadily. So far, here's what we've demonstrated it is sufficient for two triangles to have three pairs of congruent sides. That is, if, a, if, if this side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side, then the triangles are said to be congruent by side, side, side. Likewise, we've demonstrated that if a triangle shares an angle, congruent angle with another triangle, and the included sides are also congruent, then the triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. We've also demonstrated to the negative that a, a triangle in which it has a pair of congruent sides are congruent angles and sides that aren't included. So the angle is, the sides are not on either side of the angle but includes the side opposite that angle. Then the triangles are not necessarily congruent we don't know that the, those are congruent. So, because, as we discovered, there are cases where it can be an obtuse triangle or an acute triangle. Okay, so angle side side doesn't work. All right, let's see what we can do about angle side angle today. That is, we're going to demonstrate, hopefully, at angle side angle, if two triangles share a side and the angles on either side of that side, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, so let's go back to GeoGebra here. Let me erase everything. Okay, so we're going to start with a triangle. Start with a triangle. Start with a triangle. Okay, and I'm going to copy side AB, side AB. So I'm going to use my compass to measure AB over here. That's a circle of D, of radius AB. I'm going to place a point on that circle anywhere I like. Okay, so AB corresponds to DE, and I'm going to draw a line segment connecting those two. So DE is congruent to AB because I measured it with my compass. And now what I want to do is I want to copy angle A and angle B. Okay, so I'm going to place a point on the side of A here, and I'm going to use my compass tool to draw a circle at centered at A, that is the lay F, and I'm going to do the same for D. Okay, let's copy AF, measure AF and copy it to D. Okay, whoops, I didn't grab the compass tool, that's why. AF and AF, there we go, D. All right. And then I'm going to draw a measure from F to the, I'm going to measure the gap. And add some points here and copy the gap using our copy the segment, copy the angle routine. Okay, for this one, I'm going to go measure FG and copy it. Oh, got off my compass tool here. Try again. FG, there we go. And H, okay. And let's put a point over here. And draw a ray through D and I. Okay, so now angle D is the same size as angle A, and now I'm going to copy angle B using the angle copy routine as well. Okay, so let's place a point on B here, 
Let's grab our compass tool, measure BJ, draw BJ, measure BJ, and copy that to E. Add some points for intersections. Yeah, I know adding the points is kind of an easy one to forget to do. And then grab my compass, measure J, K, and draw J, K, measure J, K, and copy J, K to L. Okay. And now put a point on that intersection. Make sure it is the intersection there and not the intersection with the greater circle. Okay, and then draw a ray through E and M here. All right. And put a point on the intersection. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, so now we've got our triangle. And let's uh, draw a polygon for it to facilitate ma making measurements. D, E, N. Okay. Now I measured this, I constructed this so that A, J, A, B is the same as D, E, and I've constructed this so angle A is the same as angle D, and I constructed this so angle B is the same as angle uh, uh, E. All right, so let's measure and uh, see, verify that we got all those. Uh, a, B is 3.9, D, E is 3.9, Measure an angle, angle A. Actually, yeah, let me just click in there and it'll measure all three. Angle A is 38.6, angle D is 38.6, angle B is 90.1, angle E is 90.1, angle C is 51.3, angle N is 51.3. Okay. And now let's measure the remaining two sides distance. So AC, uh, not perimeter, AC is 5, and DN is 5. BC is 3.1, and CN is 3.1. All right. And again, I can grab the original triangle and change things around, and the new triangle changes to match. So no matter what the initial size of the angles and sides, if an included, if an ang a side is the same and the include and the angles on either side of that uh, side are the same, the triangles must be congruent. Because no matter how I change this, these two triangles remain congruent. Okay, very cool. I love it.